my channel if you've been here before. If not, welcome. I'm Brynn and I post a lot of different content, fitness, health, lifestyle, some travel. Today's video I'm really excited for because I'm going to be showing you guys my version of the that girl trend. If you don't know what the that girl trend is, I think it originated on TikTok, but it's basically just the idea of a girl that has her life together, that's doing healthy things, that's putting herself first in her health and wellness and fitness. She's organized, she's hardworking, she's doing things that make her a better version of herself. Here's just a quick little visual if you're not tracking, but these are some of the videos from TikTok. I do wanna say that it is just a trend and nobody's life is aesthetic and organized and perfect all of the time. But it is fun to capture all of those awesome moments and show some motivation and inspiration for someone that's trying to better their life or to build little habits in their life that make them into a better, happier, healthier version of themselves. So that's what this trend is and today I'm going to be taking you along of all the things that I try to do every day to create that healthy, happy lifestyle. Now every day is different and I definitely wake up some mornings and I'm not super motivated and I don't do my exact morning routine, but this is just a full vlog of all the things that I want to implement in my healthy lifestyle. So you saw I got up and brushed my teeth, did the skincare, made my bed. If you can just make one healthy habit right when you wake up in the morning, it'll kickstart your day and make your day so much better. It's kind of just like a mindset thing of, okay, I made the bed, I'm ready to go, what's the next task? Now it's personally my favorite time and that is coffee time. So let's get to the kitchen. Before coffee, I'm actually having warm lemon water. It just helps with my digestion and hydrates me first thing in the morning. And then I start on my coffee. I'm just doing black coffee, some almond milk, and vanilla creamer in my throffer. This is the creamer that I use. It is so good, and I do have a discount code if you want it. It also alkalizes the coffee, which just neutralizes the acidity of it. So I pour it over, and then I'll walk over and sit down to read. I start by reading my devotional each morning, and then I'll journal and set up my to-do list on my little planner book. Hey, guys. But mornings are like here. <laughs> Calm down. Okay, now it is time to make breakfast. I'm gonna be making some protein pancakes. I'm using this Birch Benders Paleo Mix, and then I'm going to put an egg in it, some almond milk, some cinnamon, and my gainful protein powder. Let's get it going. Now we put them on the pan. This is the gym fit for the day. I've got on Gymshark spandex, Gymshark top, white neck socks, and Nike Metcons. And I'm heading to the gym. One reason why I think working out and going to the gym or getting any type of movement in is definitely a major point of the that girl trend is because movement is just so good for you. It is not about trying to look a certain way. The physical side follows naturally from working out and maintaining a healthy lifestyle, but if you can start from an inward perspective, you're doing it for your mental state and for your happiness, your stress levels and your emotions, that's when it's gonna become something that you genuinely love to do and you're craving that workout and that movement every day. So I want you to try saying this with me. Write it down if you need to, make it a positive affirmation, journal it, whatever it is. My body needs movement. Movement is medicine. I move to take care of my body physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. I move my body to feel good. If you can get that mindset in around movement, it'll make exercise so much easier. And I like to call it movement because it really is movement. Movement doesn't have to be a weight training session. It doesn't have to be CrossFit. It doesn't have to be even going to a gym. It can be going on a long walk outside. It can be surfing, it can be dancing, it can be anything. You gotta find what works for you, what makes your body feel good, what you want to stick to, what you crave waking up and doing each morning, and just go with that. So the type of movement I'm gonna be getting today, I'm gonna go outside and do a total body hit workout and some stretching. So I like to do pre-workout before. I use Gainful, the discount link is in the description. So I just fill up my little bottle, pick it up, and head there. So I'm gonna head out and get my body moving.
can't talk. I literally can't breathe. Dripping. That was so good. So good. Follow along on the Instagram if you want the full workout. I'm gonna put the phone down because my hand is literally shaking. Somehow, I really don't know how, but I gathered the energy to go inside and do a quick Stairmaster finisher routine, so I just did that. It took about eight minutes, and it burned so good, and then I chugged some water, and I headed downstairs to go to Trader Joe's. And this is just gonna be like a quick Trader Joe's haul of all the things that I got. Enjoy. Wobbly. Now, I am starving. You guys know I already opened the popcorn and started eating that in the elevator on the way up. Mm. Time to make lunch. I think I'm gonna make some ground turkey stuffed bell peppers. So I just rinsed off in the shower because that is one thing I need to get better at, especially for the that girl trend, hygiene. This is just me being very vulnerable with you guys. A lot of times I realize I work out and forget to like rinse off after and it's gross, I know, because I sweat a lot, but your girl's busy. But that's one thing I'm really working on is no matter what, right when I'm doing my workout to just rinse off real quick, you don't have to wash your hair. Okay, let's get into the fun part, making the food. I'm gonna start by just preheating the oven to 350 and then I'm gonna prepare the bell pepper cups. So to do this, I'm just gonna cut them into thirds and then de-seed them and line them in this pan, sprinkle some salt on top of them and then sprinkle some olive oil and put them in the oven. Next, I start on the veggies, so I'm chopping up some onion and then these super cute baby zucchinis, I'm chopping up those as well. Next step is to cook the rice on the stove. I'm using wild rice, you can use any rice though. And then I'm gonna take the veggies and saute them up in some taco seasoning. And then I'm gonna take the ground turkey breast and cook that in some salsa and also taco seasoning. Then I'm gonna add the rice and add the sauteed veggies and just mix that up together. Once it's fully mixed, I'm gonna fill the roasted bell peppers with that mixture and then put it back into the oven to bake for about 10 more minutes. While we're waiting now, it is guac time. So I'm gonna squeeze the avocado into the mixing bowl and then I'm gonna add onion, salsa, and hot sauce and mix it on up. And by now the bell peppers are ready, so I'm just gonna top it with that guac and a little bit extra hot sauce and there we go. It is so quick, easy, and delicious and you can meal prep it after. I definitely went back for seconds and then cleaned the kitchen after. Okay, kitchen is and I just got ready and put a different little fit on. Now I'm gonna head to a coffee shop to get my workday started. Work for me right now is mainly my membership, so I'm editing videos, replying to girls in there, posting videos, coming up with recipes, all of that. So I do that for a good chunk of my hours, and then I answer emails, work with brands, edit some pictures for He Would Love First, which is my husband's company, and edit a bunch of content for social media, like YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram. By the way, if you're not following those, all my content is posted like every single day, so go follow them. But yeah, I'm gonna pack up my backpack and we're gonna head there. So got a laptop, journal, and notebook planner thing, and SD card adapter. We are ready to go. Oh, and can't forget the rest of my greens powder. I just put a lemon in it because it got to the tail end and I wanted some citrus, so let's go. I feel like I'm going to school. Bye, mom. As you can see, Lucas didn't let you guys um, see what he had, but it was a strawberry milkshake. But anyways, we're gonna go for a walk now outside um, and get a little bit of our steps in before we call it a night. <laughs> this is our little park. park. Going for a little walk on the park. I'm not going for a walk, I'm going for a workout. Wait and see. Whatever. <laughs> Weirdo, I don't know him. 